Um, New Zealand, open their account. 1-0 in this final deciding game. My name's Gus. I'm joined here by Stefan. How are you, Stefan? Yeah, doing really well. I'm just seeing some awesome ultimate this, uh, this weekend. I'm really loving it. Really, really pumped for this game. Yep. So, so if you are just joining us, the series is one apiece. Um, Australia and New Zealand battling it out for the Trans-Tasman Trophy 2017. It's a very exciting time for us all. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, now we've just been doing sorting out the technical stuff, and I've actually missed who scored that first point. Who's got uh, it for us, guys? Me too. <laughs> I, <missed laughs> it too. I know New Zealand scored, but I'm not sure who. Yep. Alrighty. We have Newman with the disc. Pulling it down to the Australians. <laughs> okay. The disc is... Uh, yeah. John O'Keefe centers it to Julio. Matt Hanna looking for Hodgson underneath. That's a great cut from Hodgson. He's got Aiden Barron deep and he launches it. Barron! Oh, tried to attack it. You got to admire him trying to attack it, but probably just went a bit early there. Yeah, running under the disc. Uh, maybe thought he had to jump earlier because of the competition from the defender. And it's Whitlock with the disc now. John O'Keefe's nearly had a sniff there. Newman launches it. Seth underneath it with Russell Sider. Sider gets up. Hodgson comes through on the D. Lovell finds Keys, but it's Driscoll with the run through D. Oh, energy's oh. huge already this game. They're Massive going right momentum, at it. Yeah. yeah. Newman with the disc finds Whitlock. Swing around to Coxill Bagaki, my boy. Back to Whitlock. Get some good movement here, the New Zealanders. Blinded on the sideline, the New Zealander with the disc, swings across, looking for the end zone, Newman finds, closes it out. He finds Coxal Bugacki in the goal, that's two zip, but it's high energy, isn't it? Oh, Jeez. loving it. We're, we're pumped in the commentary box. My heart's racing. Yeah. Just um, <laughs> feeling the energy just feeding off the field, and I'm loving it that the boys from both sides are right into it. Both sides right into it. Lots of jogging to the line. So that's uh, two scores to New Zealand. Look. Uh, Coach O won't be stressing his head off yet. He'll be ready for another plan. No, nah, uh, he's gonna he's gonna keep his head on. I reckon. <laughs> yeah. So someone tripped over the uh, generator cable. So that's why we've been having a few technical difficulties in the game so far. But hopefully we're back up and running. All right. So who's on this uh, line for New Zealand? In New Zealand, we have number 49. <laughs> Cox of Agaki's giving us a bit of a thumbs up on the sideline. But uh, he's not on the line, so not important at the moment. It's Campbell Newman. Then we have number 42, Rowan Burns. Number four, Luke Rabe. And I've been <laughs> obscured. I think I can see Rolf McEwen. And maybe... No, he's running too fast. I don't know who that last person is. Can't this goes up. That disc in. Damon Prendergast under. He lets it fall. He picks it up. Very flexible player. Wants it off, but the defense is harrying. Lely works hard to get free. He's got a few options deep. So does O'Hagan. He doesn't do it. Swings it instead. Paddy Graham's going to have to work. Just too much pepper on that one, I think. O'Hagan uh, having a couple of early points in both of the first um, two games where he's very aggressive and not quite coming off. Yeah. Um, hoping he can reel it in sooner. Just taking a little while to get settled. It is Newman walking over to pick up the disc. He's looking pretty calm and composed. Looking for an early cut from number four, Luke Rabe, I think. That's the vibe I'm getting. But I'm wrong. It's Ron Burns. Rabe's there as well. Lely peeling off the back of the stack to help out. It's a high disc. Oh, Lely maybe just gets a touch there. Burns, unlucky. Lely just doing enough. That was uh, not a convincing touch, but it's to the ground. O'Hagan bringing the disc in. It's a Victorian lineup plus Lely. <laughs> yeah. O'Hagan finds Lely off the front of the stack. Pumps at that horizontal stack being used early in this game. Nichols. Beautiful forehand. Yeah, unlucky. Shades just no. going to Tommy Butler there, I think. Just a little bit too much on it. 
I did miss the second New South Welshman. <laughs> Very Eastern line. Number 81, Daniel Linklater. He's linking right now, though, as he swings it back around to Campbell Newman. A lot of pressure here. This goes up eventually. But there's no receiver in sight. That means Australia have the disc for another chance at offense. Just coming in off that corner, O'Hagan looking for the break, finds Lally, that is a gorgeous throw. Lally, a bit of contact, he's going to foul, he's not happy about it. <laughs> Graydon Scott got him on the way through. He looks a bit grumpy, Nick Lally. Hard to tell with all the hair, but I think there's a bit of, bit of anger underneath that. There's a head shake there, but uh, I think he felt the contact, obviously. I'm uh, very doubt. Jeez, there's a difficult setup here from the Australians. But look, oh, it looks like he's going to clear, but it comes back under, close the lane a little bit for Nichols. Has to go to O'Hagan. Up to Graham now. The Tory boys working well together. Oh, they let Tommy Butler in on the action and he fumbles it but hangs on. Lally been asked to clear here. O'Hagan down the line. Push pass. Finds O'Hagan. Zips it to Lally. That's way too much. It's, uh, that's a crowd killer. He'd uh, hit the spectators out the back there. Just a bit too much on that one, I think, for Lally. Again, high aggression. Would have to be a spectacular layout from the hairy man. He's a bit beyond him. Campbell Newman walks the disc up. Initiating cut from Rolf, and it goes up straight away. Paddy Graham in pursuit. I don't think he's going to get there. Yeah, what a ground. I didn't uh, rule him out. Mm. Oh, legs, that boy. Lely runs straight to the disc. He wants it. I reckon he's going to... Send it, maybe. Paddy Graham's got some steps. James Walker does well. O'Hagan now getting some movement. Oh, gets it straight back. That's great work there from O'Hagan in the middle. Butler gets in on the action, as does Walker. The disc is up. It's high. Butler underneath it. Pulls it down. O'Hagan would have a little bit of a stress there. <laughs> Wait yeah. for that one to take it in. Yeah, he looked a little bit worried. But they're on the board, the Australians. That's 2-1. They look really strong when they're going through the centre. Um, there's a lot of generating that one, once they got to the point. Uh, Lely getting the movement started early. He's really strong off that, uh, that first cart, first movement. He wants to get it moving. Just his mindset uh, is positive. And uh, it's going to be very, very important to that offence. No doubt about it. Expect Lely and Boyle to be uh, running the show back there on offence. O'Hagan getting in on the action as well. Actually, you know what? I can all do it. Yeah. Expect all 20 players, 18, 20 players, to be getting the disc, moving it around, catching the goals. Tom Boyle with the disc now, though. It's a fast line, but as we know, they're all fast. Watch number 66, Alan, the kid, kid. Some spectacular layouts. It's quite a springy man. We recommend the highlights reel yesterday yep. up at uh, Ultimate Australia. Some seriously impressive work, and some of his uh, being on show right there. Just a bit of calm here before the storm, perhaps. The sidelines looking energetic, but it's very quiet here, eerily quiet at the moment. And here they come, here comes the noise. Whitlock underneath it. Can't get that centering pass off. And they're in Callahan country here, deep in Callahan country. Oh, Harley's flip. That is such a, such a difficult throw to Rowan Burns. He's looking for Whitlock. Whitlock trying to get it moving now. Cramped in their own end zone still. Uh, Catapo. Thunder really putting their feet down. Oh, Edmund Feng nearly had a, a sniff there on Whitlock. Gets it moving. Through Fitzpatrick Cockrum. Oh, zings it through the Driscoll. And Driscoll throws it to the goal. Number 48, Hamish Ford with that one. It's a well-worked defensive point, Stefan. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, really well-executed offense as well. They found the gap. 
They found it uh, on this close side that they had a bit of momentum, kept it moving, kept that disc uh, active. Boyle got caught out a little bit, sitting off his man. Tommy Boyle, at least he remembered his cleats this morning. Did forget them yesterday. Well, you'd hope so. Yeah, I thought they were in a bit of trouble there. <laughs> thought the New Zealanders maybe... Uh, yeah, early on, the pressure was on. Deep in Callahan country, weren't they? You've got to give them credit for uh, to the patients working it out. So here we are, 1-3. Australia with a chance to uh, peg one of those back. Bring it to 2-3, one breakdown. Sure are. That's the situation for them. New Zealanders... The sorry? Oh, so on the line, it looks like we've got uh, Baron... Graham. Uh, Prendergast. Prendergast. Boyle Lelly. Matt Hanna. Sorry, that's not Matt Hanna. James Walker. They all look the same. They're all right. wearing the same clothes. Harry and they're Graham. all got the same hat. Yeah. Harry Graham. Overrule myself for the second time. Followed by James Walker. And Kylo, but I don't think he'll be playing. Unlikely. Let's go, D -line. Wait, withdrawal. <laughs> We do have Whitlock with the disc for New Zealand. He's been an absolute champion for them. Really getting every second pass almost on offense. Workhorse on D. This pull comes up. It's not a nice one to receive. And it is going to roll out the back. Good, good soccering there from some of the spectators. Tommy Boyle is going to bring it up to the line. I haven't seen that too much of Tommy Boyle early this game. Lely goes deep straight away. Boyle lets it rip. It's going to float back in. Lely, a lot of pressure from McEwen. Oh, greatest attempt. I think he got there. I'm not sure if it, if it was really catchable on the way back in. Great run from Lely. I uh, like that initiating look from Boyle. Whitlock looks like he's going to have a go as well. Cramped in the corner there, the New Zealanders. Turn there. We're obstructed from view, but... Obstructed a little bit. Boyle picking up the disc. So, yeah, Boyle with disc. I think they've got an isolated. I think it's Graham isolated there in a bit of space. It gets free pretty easily. That's a great cut from Graham. Can't throw from Tommy Boyle. Three two. Yeah, talking to the staff of um, of Thunder. What they were really hoping for was an even effort across the squad. That was uh, at one point, they really wanted uh, everyone to yep. contribute. Equal contributions. E equal contributions um, and to expect an equal contribution from your teammates. I definitely think we've been seeing that yep. so far. Yeah, yeah. To trust their teammates to um, to bring the heat, um, bring the next cut, you know, to, uh, to clear out and leave space for someone else to work. Um, and the second point being get back up. If this goes to ground, it's go again. Um, being a bit of a motto. And, uh, yeah, no, look, I think it's really positive coaching from them. The coaching staff have done really well getting that, uh, getting that in their noggins. It is a positive vibe. There's also a lot of energy out here. The crowd has built up. Uh, there's, there's a lot more on, on the nearest sideline that you might not be able to see on the camera, but it is, uh, it is really building here in uh, Balmain. Now it scores 2-3 at New Zealand with a chance to... Uh, to put away this offense here. Been pretty calm, cool, cool, and calm, collected. Last time they had a lot of pressure on their uh, offense and um, managed to just work it through. Yep. Matt Hanna with the disc. He lets a big backhand rip, and that is a very nice pull. It might drift out the back, actually. Through the goal, that's pretty good. Margins um, between a good and a not so good pull. Mm. So close. If we were playing goal though, it would have been a great effort. Just slid into the bottom corner there, hard for the keeper to get to. 100%. Whitlock bringing it up on the sideline, bringing the noise. Initiating cut from Fitzpatrick Cockrum. Strikes across and it goes deep to Driscoll. Driscoll pulls it down. New Zealand is happy with that one. That's a one-pass offense. Alex Bruff getting burnt there deep a little bit. Did great to uh, get in the mix though. Driscoll just a little bit too fast, I think. It was well thrown as well by Whitlock. Yeah, both teams are very, very happy to go uh, go aggressive on that first or go long. 
That takes it to 4-2. So a buffer not getting out of past two points. So still pretty even game. Yeah, it's uh both teams settled into their uh, into their uh, the set plays a little bit more now. They've um, just got a bit of rhythm. Sidelines just calmed that uh, that 10% down, um, and we've kind of uh, yeah just getting into the game, getting a bit of um, getting a bit of momentum. That's right. It is Campbell Newman with the pull. Nice tall line from the Australians. Expect Keys and Boyle back handling. Cron has delivered breaking news. Mark Evans has arrived at the ground. So if you didn't already have enough reasons to arrive down here in Balmain, Mark Evans is here as well. And it is Keys who's going to be bringing it up to the brick mark. Just a match set up. New Zealand trying to take away the unders. He's not sure where the brick mark is. It's not marked on these fields. Oh, Paddy and the kid looking under. Alan the kid, kid with the disc now. Looks at Boyle. Boyle does a great cut. He's still got room up the line. He's in power position now. He's got a few options. Hammers it across. That's what the people want. Paddy G gets up. Just a little bit over his head, I think. So close. You hear the, the coach yell, and that's a perfect look. And uh, the right, just an inch away from amazing flow through there. It's not often you think if only Pat Graham was a bit taller. <laughs> As the Australians get a quick turn, Boyle walking to pick up the disc. Keys in that dump space. It's going to isolate someone, I would imagine. I think it's going to be Eichner. Lachlan Eichner. Coxel Bugaki on him for the New Zealanders. Oh, dishes it over the top. Paddy Graham gets up again. Oh, that's a kerfuffle. And yeah, ultimately the, a turn. Uh, the ISO on that one just to get it the other side of the stack into the traffic. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, probably Paddy just made it a bit difficult for the, the people underneath him there by getting up. Cox of Bagaki with a disc now. Swinging it back to Newman. The New Zealand is a bit of a busy stack. There's a... There's a pick there with Collision, the yeah. kid, but hasn't affected. Hodgson on McEwen. So that's not McEwen. Mercer around to Newman. And the disc goes up. Hodgson's going to have to get there. That's an outstanding defensive effort there from Nick Hodgson. He's putting his body on the line. He's getting up big. He makes the ground. That's really impressive work. The Australians uh, come into that force there. Here on the replay. Oh, wow. He has gotten up, hasn't he? That's a great D. A good landing as well. Really cushioned his landing. Yeah. A masterpiece of defensive work. Tommy Ball bringing it in. About to give us a masterpiece of flick hucks, I reckon. Paddy G. He's got, he's got a goal in his eyes. But he dumps it instead. Finds Prendergrass up the line. Who is looking for Hodgson for the bookends. He snags it. Takes the player out as well. Not sure if he was in. I think everyone's just calling it because that was a great play for Nick Hodgson. <laughs> Double happiness. Yeah, absolutely. He just rode that contact. The uh, poor guy underneath. <laughs> gets the D, gets the goal. Hodgson isn't a small man. Double happiness for Hodgson. No, he's not. Double happiness for Hodgson. <laughs> not sure if you can hear that on the, on the marks or not, but Hodgson just uh, getting a bit of... Bit of, bit of support from the sideline, from the Terra <laughs> Girls. I think that's the word we'd use, bit of support. Now, one interesting game, 4-3. Bit of a delay, I'm not sure what happened to our game advisors with their whistles and their stopwatches. Uh, maybe no whistles today. We do have our game advisors, though. Matt Hanna with the pull. Oh, and a loud sideline. Jeez, they're really, really yelling, those, those Australian boys. James Walker on the mark. It is Whitlock with the disc. He's comfortable in possession of it. Squirts it out to Ron Burns. No, Hamish Ford. 
Hamish Ford on the disc. McEwen gets it under, but a fumble. It is a pick call. Not sure about the rule there. I think we might need a game advisor, advisor in to settle this dispute. Just a bit of discussion here. Pick call. It is a stone cold job. I definitely think we should be asking the game advisors here for this one. Nicola, <laughs> you just tell him I want to shut up very politely. Got two game advisors in now. Might need a third. It's, uh, turnover is the decision. Mike Palmer agreed. Got the Mike Palmer tick of approval, that one. And he doesn't like refs, so... <laughs> Lely walking to the disc. Linehead Lely. Powerful cut from Fong underneath, but the disc goes wide. Finds Walker. Uh, that's Everest. Everest, sorry. Is that Eichner with the disc? No, with Eichner. Oh, it tries to hit Feng, but it's just a bit, a bit zippy for Feng. A bit too aggressive, pushing it through. A little bit out of reach. Whitlock picking it up, as we've seen him do all weekend. Nicholas Whitlock loves that disc. Julio does well. Stopping that initiating cut from McEwen. Ford, his Driscoll. Straight to Whitlock. He's the guy that New Zealand is one with the disc. Lely on him now. That's going to be an interesting matchup. Rolf does well despite the pressure of Butler. Butler, a bit physical on the mark. He's just bouncing around. Back to Whitlock. Oh, and he rips it. McEwen and Julio in pursuit. Just too far for both of them. Just out the back, Stefan. Just out the back. They love that they were willing to put those throws up. That was uh, a tight mark, though. I'm not quite sure the space he saw. The uh, oh, throw. defense harrying, but um, I'm so impressed by New Zealand's discipline on their offensive sets, both females and males, today. And uh, you saw their side stack just peeling, player after player peeling off there. That's right. Um, before centering, coming now uh, more of a central stack. Lely walking up, very composed, very hairy. He hits Butler on a great around, but there is a pick call. It's a shame because I think Feng was going. I think Butler was going to rip it as well. This is a fantastic look from Lely. Fantastic look, yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> apologies. <laughs> A few looks there. <laughs> so he's going to come back to Lely. Not going to hit Butler, I don't think. Might look to dump it to Hannah. Butler's clearing deep. Oh, great grab there from Julio under pressure. He's going to Lely. There's lots of yelling. Lely lets it rip. Oh, that's a high float. There's going to be lots of bodies under that. It's about five, five each. Oh, and Everest comes down with it. Every artist. The man from South Australia. Send us back to Julio. Julio's got a few options. Not looking at Lely, which Lely's doesn't mind because he goes to Walker for the goal. Four apiece. That's a break for the Australians. It's fours, and it's fun out here. How on earth did everyone now just pull that down? I don't I'm know. Not sure. I think he just had position and it dropped. That's the only possible conclusion I can draw. Here it is. That disc going up high, high in the air. Many, many bodies under it. Every other is just the first person up, I think. Yep. Snags it. Driscoll wasn't position, far away position, behind. Position. <laughs> it's good. It's recorded, Mark, but it's fine. <laughs> so, technical difficulty to oh, technical and pronunciation down. difficulties. <laughs> Go on. Oh, he's uh, informing me. No turnovers this one so far. Really? No turnovers? Yep. Gee, that's not something you want to be aware of, I don't think. <laughs>
So I put, it puts a lot of pressure on the, uh, the viewership uh, throws. at home. You now know. Yep, you now know. So watch out for number seven. Uh, yep. uh, I've committed 23. 23. Number 23. So close. <laughs> So we are at fours. It's an exciting game. Tommy Boy with the pull. The Thunder Boy is just, just, just really dwaddling past us at the moment. Gus, it can't be um, forgotten that that Hulk had to go up because of the uh, match defense. From the yeah. It's really good quality match defense. So we might be seeing that again. It's just drifting out on the pull. Whitlock to pick it up. Last time in this situation, Whitlock just threw a goal when he took it from the bricks, so I wonder if he'll be doing that again. <laughs> Hodgson has drawn the short straw and taken the matchup of Whitlock, but I do think they're doing a bit of poach here, a bit of a poachy set, Boyle sagging into the lane. Baron sitting very deep, yeah. I don't want that early half to go up. Whitlock Boyle wanted it. Engaged on the dump there on 49. Oh. Oh. A little over the top, hope, please. Looking down the line. Newman Five. finds Rolf. And Rolf has Fitzpatrick Cochran, but doesn't do it. Hits Newman instead on the reset. Fitzpatrick Cochran, an absolute workhorse. Oh, it did well. Whitlock now. He wants something over to that break side. Throws a scuba to the open instead. Straight down the throat of Rolf. More class from Whitlock. <laughs> yeah, he's got them all. I think that's the first scuba we've seen him produce. It's absolutely great work there from Whitlock. No timeouts yet, Stefan. No, both coaches happy to keep things rolling. Momentum um, just, just flowing. <laughs> So far, uh, <laughs> points, um, yeah, just, just kind of pretty short, sharp. Nothing too uh, been, uh, been crunched out. That's right. I, I think yesterday we saw a lot of uh, nerves in the first game and then uh, wind in the second game, causing yeah. some high turnover points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, a bit more clinical today from both sides. Whitlock is just, I can't praise him highly enough. He's just been absolutely killing it in that handler space. Yeah, we did see him um, yesterday really effective down the field as well. But That's right, yeah. Um, they can't afford him there at the moment. No, they need him behind the disc, yep. Yeah. Uh, New Zealand's structured really well, just players moving around him. We have on the line for New Zealand, Max Benter Lynch, Coxel Bagaki, Rolf, number 34, Russell Sider, Josh Driscoll, Fitzpatrick Cockrum, and of course, where would they be without Nicholas Whitlock, number eight? I wonder what we're going to see here. A bit of match, maybe a bit of a poachy look. It's going to be intense, whatever it is. It's getting louder and louder each point. Prendergrass to receive up to O'Hagan. O'Hagan finding Walker, looks to the centre. Ooh. Not on. Now in a bit of spot of bother. Bit of a jam. Count getting right up there, O'Hagan saving the day. Oh, he zips it over. Aggressive around. It's too much zip on that one, I think, for. Is that Eichner? No, that's, no, that's, Harry, Harry, that's Graham. Harry Graham, sorry. Whitlock on the disc, Lely on him. That interesting matchup again. Oh, the hammer. And he finds it to McEwen. 6 4. Whitlock is invaluable to these New Zealanders at the moment. You want him holding the disc every single time they have the offense, I think. He's got a real job shutting him down because he's just he's going over the top, moving the disc around. Yeah, what do you stop? I mean, you can't just stand there with both hands in the air. Who would you see as uh, Australia's best one-on-one -on -one marker? One-on-one uh, -on, -one on defense to, to take him out. Yes. It's difficult. Um, I think a few people have had a go. Uh, Edmund Feng did pretty well yesterday. It's pretty close to him. But I think just that reach, that height, mm. that athleticism makes him very hard to stop. He isn't on for this point, though. We'll see how the New Zealanders go. For Australia, we have Hodgson, Butler, Keyes, Eichner, Lovell, Boyle, Lely, and... Oh, no. Sorry, I nearly called Kylo on the line again. 
just stopping at Lely. So quite a powerful line on with Lely and Butler. Sorry, Lely and Boyle. Uh, Butler as well. Butler's great too. Can't wait to see this uh, Australian offense, eh, hey, Stefan? <laughs> yep. On your Butler. <laughs> we haven't forgotten you. There's two Tommy B's, which is uh, making a bit difficult here yeah, in the Contra Box. Tommy Boyle is not happy about that either. He's had words. <laughs> he doesn't like being not the only Tommy B. Yeah, yeah. Well, Tommy Butler's on the scene now. Throwing shade at Tom Butler last night. <laughs> This goes up. Bit of a rip from Graydon Scott. Keys to receive it. Yep, picking so. it up. Tom Boyle is a very central stack. Lely coming off the front. Hodson finding the disc on the open side. Looking, finds a Lely. Lely. Couple of deep cuts. Nothing under at the moment. Trying to find Boyle. Trying to find something. Finds Eichner streaming, for, streaming under. Lely ditches man. Yeah, not quite in the right space. Boy with the disc now. He's going to look for that hammer. Finds Lely instead. Down the line. Who just, just, just nothing on for him. So he swings around to Boyle. Who hosses the swing. Inside flick could be on here from Boyle. We know he's got that throw. Hits the open side anyway. Bit of contact. Lely snags it. On the doorstep here. About to ring the doorbell. Nice. Nicely worked in. Seth Lovell snagging it. I've actually been receiving a little bit of criticism, Stefan, from, uh, from Dan Daniel McPherson, a, a listener, for saying on the doorstep too many times. You can never have too many doorsteps. That's what I say. Daniel McPherson, <laughs> just calm yourself down. You've been called out, Dan. I just think it's a great analogy, you know, on the doorstep. But maybe it's not everyone's cup of tea. As the Australians go to 6-5 with that... A uh, very crucial score, I would say. Keeps the buffer at one instead yeah. of three. Yeah, look, I thought New Zealand definitely had a look in on that defence there. I was, uh, the Australians were looking um, nervous. A lot of uh, pirouettes spinning around, squeezing it down the sideline. Yeah. Um, but experienced heads prevail. That's right. So we have Matt Hanna, Pat Graham, Anne O'Hagan... Damon Prendergast, James Walker, and of course Everest, the man who went to the summit. Oh, and Alan the Kid, kid as well. Didn't quite see him. Can't forget the kid. The kid. Is that why they call him Everest? <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> Graham with the disc. Arms up very high. New Zealanders return the favour, and the play gets underway. Go. Whitlock, of course, back behind the disc. He's got Ford and Burns to help him as well. Watches it drift out the back and calls a brick. Again, the margins between a good and bad pull. Yep, yep. Would have been a great pull if it just slid out the back. Whitlock looking very dangerous from the brick mark so far. That's right. Could be threatening a, an early deep shot here. Bit of a sweep across for the New Zealand boys. Maybe a bit of a set play. Hamish Ford with the disc. Ooh, blade over to Driscoll. Essentially got him on the way through, but Driscoll isn't calling it. Thought That's about a turn. Contact. O'Hagan picks it up quickly and gets it going. Working with his Ballarat mate, Prendergast. Graham gets in on the action. The nightmare to mark with his huge reach. He finds the kid in the centre. Back to Pat Graham in the handle position. Unusual for him. He's got the throws as well as the height. O'Hagan looking downfield as always. Julio Hanna. Fake in the forehand, finds Prendergast behind the disc. Walker peeling off the front. Looking. Oh, High oh, still counted. It up. New Zealand a defender, pulls it down. Rolf comes down with it. It was tipped, I think, the hammer. Bit of a point block. And there's a call. I think with the thrower, maybe they're having a bit of a chat. There was definitely a noise. It's a foul called. Stefan, I definitely heard contact. Let's have a look. Yeah, he did make contact. I'm not sure if he left his hand, though. I'm not sure if it's uncontested or contested. He missed that hand signal. I believe it's uncontested. Walker oh, hits the kid. He does well. Allen with the disc now. Prendergrass makes a good dump cut. Kid wants it back. Look, he the breaks up the hammer. Pulls it in. 
And that six is. Six apiece for the Australians. It's a great hammer. Julio did well to peel off. Off the break side. Gee, tell you what, I saw a couple of these guys uh, trying out for the Victorian squad a couple of years ago. And just the improvement is out of this world. Damon Prendergast, James Walker, mm -hmm. those guys. You've got Angus Wicks uh, in the development squad. Um, Ant Hagen was there. Pat Graham. <laughs> There's a couple more I'm forgetting. There's a lot more Victoria boys. Uh, uh, the last youth match I played was 2015. Uh, and New South Wales came away with the, with the victory against Victoria in the final. But I think almost all of the Victorian team played again the next year and uh, got the win back. Yep. So they're a real powerhouse in Youth Ultimate at the moment, sending a message to the other states. It's not a Victorian heavy line, though. We've got Baron. Sorry, Mueller is just in the way of me at the moment. I have a Mueller number 12. We've got Baron, Butler, Hodgson, Boy Boyle, Lovell, uh, Harry Graham, and the man, Lachlan Eichner. Once again, confirming Kyle O is not on the line. He's not on the line, but he, he looks like he's a player, doesn't he? He's wearing the uniform. He's got the shorts. He's about the same height. I need, him, need him in a coach's bucket hat or something. I think so. <laughs> Hamish Ford to receive the pull. No, Rowan Burns to receive the pull. Sentence to, I assume, Whitlock. Sends it to Fitzpatrick Cockrum. Reads it well. Tommy Boyle does not. Got options. Hits Burns on the run through. Whitlock wants it. Whitlock wants his disc. He's on the doorstep. Dan Mack. And he throws it. Rings the bell. Cochram. Rings the bell. <laughs> Let inside. Oh, there's a call. Maybe a bit of a pick call. Going to bring in the advisor. Maybe a trip on the line. Is that? It's a line call. Oh, okay. Calling it out. We'll see what the game advisor has to say. Bit of discussion here. Never sure who's on whose side with these ones. Lots of pointing. I love the point, don't you think? That's a goal. I think the point is something we miss. Just, just pointing at the line. Gak's good at it. Just pointing at if the If you point players. at it enough, it just makes it more correct, surely. Mm -hmm. I think that's the approach. 7-6 to New Zealand. Could take half here. 8-6 with a break. Of course, Australia could score, and then it'd be 7-7. Seven, seven. That's how the game of Frisbee works. Again, technical difficulties at the start. I'm not actually sure who started with the disc on offense or defense. Yeah, I wasn't quite <laughs> watching that one. But I'm sure we'll find out soon. In any case, the Australians coming out on O here. Bring on a uh, handler, heavy line, calling a bit of a line here, the Australians. They must see it as quite an important point, and it is. We have Graham, Prendergast, Kidd, O'Hagan, Everest, Hodgson, and Lely. A lot of boys you want getting a disc on that line. See what New Zealand come down with. Could come down in a bit of a zone, mix things up a bit. But they look like they're talking about their matchups. All right, just coming in. It's a. It looks like it's just going to sail into the the far corner. That's a that is a great brilliant pull. pull. Missed 100 cents, centering the disc. Lily on it now. Hodgson has steps. Doesn't hit him. Finds the kid. Looks Works hard central. Under. Gets the forehand off. Hodson peeling off. Yeah, Puts it up to Graham. Paddy Graham's going to have Has to work. Has he got the legs? Oh! oh! <laughs> Reels it in! Paddy <laughs> Graham. The field is flooded by Australians. That is an outstanding grab. Just put this into perspective from head to toe. From the, from the top of his hand to, the, to his foot. He's about eight feet tall. Eight the, feet? He's You're six a, foot. He's, his, his arm's about two foot. That was an incredible reach there. Incredible layout. Only, uh, it's probably the only it's person on the squad with arms long enough to actually reach Here we out. go, we see it again. He's got layout in his eyes from a long way out. It's great. Well, not the best form, but he catches <laughs> it and comes down well. 
It's a great grab from Paddy Graham, and suddenly it's a galaxy point. <laughs> seven apiece, seven apiece. Whoever takes this point will take half of this incredibly crucial game in the Trans Tasman series. It is one apiece. The winner of this game will take home the trophy that we're looking at sitting on our, on our commentary table here. Pretty nice trophy. It's been contested 2011, 13 and 15 with Australia taking out uh, the two most recent yep, the last uh, two championships with New Zealand Katipo taking out the first in 2011. That's right, Tommy Boyle about to give it a rip and we're into this galaxy point. Very crucial in the grand scheme of things. It's coming down to Rowan Burns. It's a great pull as well. And it's a great chase from James Walker. Putting a lot of pressure on that first pass. Whitlock with the disc now. It's cramped a bit. It's just struggling to get it moving, the New Zealanders. It's a great poachy D from the Australians. Burns with it now. It's back to Whitlock. The man they want in control of this offense. Who hammers it across. That's a great shot to Fitzpatrick Cockrum. Rolf loitering deep. It's with Ford now. Whitlock. Whitlock and Edmund in a battle. And Whitlock finds Rolf. And they take half the New Zealanders. That's a great offensive point. Once again, Whitlock. A key player in it. Oh, the boys get around Feng there. They know he worked really hard on that mark. Yeah, he nearly got that uh, that dump look. Feng looks a little bit disappointed He's with himself. Always but in the action Whoops. as a player. Sure and is. Sure is. And that's yeah. half time, and it feels like the first time we've had just to calm down and assess yeah. this situation. 7 8, a very high octane game. Yep, it's sunny here. It's a uh, beautiful day, no wind, fantastic conditions, ready for an like, unbelievable second half. Both teams are going to come out firing. Uh, we'll be back in a couple minutes, bring you all that action. Sure will. I'm playing, I'm playing in Nelson Lake. 
Welcome back to the stream. We're here for the second half of the Australia versus New Zealand ta Trans Tasman Series men's series drawn one all at this stage. And um, this game being the decider. Joining me in the commentary box is Shannon Carpenter. Welcome, Shannon Carpenter. Hello, you, everyone. You've been playing with Southern Terra this weekend. How have you gone? Uh, uh, we've gone very well. Uh, we haven't won any games, unfortunately, but I think as a team we've improved quite a lot and we've really gelled which was really fun over the weekend so yeah excellent and um is this your first trans tasman series yes first trans tasman which is pretty exciting to play against new zealand now you get to play against them are you one that's uh, are you one that can be back for the next series yeah no unfortunately not i can't play trans tasman again well, enjoy it while it's here. I'm sure you've, uh, you're going to have plenty of times to play some international frisbee. Yep, still got two more juniors left. Awesome, awesome. And you played in um, Poland. Yep. How did the uh, Australian girls go there? Um, the Australian girls placed 13th, as far as I'm aware, I think so. Um, and we, we loved it. I think I mean, the team still talks now and we're all really good mates. So it's, it was quite a good experience for me. Yeah, I'd say so. There's a lot of positive talk that comes from uh, the squad now, the returners. That pool covering a lot of ground. Looks like it's just floated out. About no, no it's in. in. Lands in. Picking up the disc is Matt Hanna. Beautiful forehand. Finds Seth Lovell looking for his own forehand. That's the force. Looking to that open side. Finds O'Hagan. Oh, who's big D from New Zealand. That's Whitlock. Absolute champion offense, defense. He f has the disc in hand. Looking for a dish into the end zone. He wants to end this now. Boom. And a score from New Zealand. What an opening. That, of course, eight at 8-7 eight, with offense had the Australians with a chance to, um, to pull back that break that we had in the first, um, first half. But New Zealand switching it on. you got to say, though, how important are pulls? Very important. That was a great pull from New Zealand. Just landed in on the sideline. 
And uh, I think uh, Matt Hanna from New South Wales uh, was thinking it was going to land out and let it drop, but unfortunately it just landed in. Yeah, that gave him that, uh, that extra moment for the fence. Harry, get in there. Cause havoc. You can see who's on the line for the Australians at the moment. Uh, we have uh, Nick Lelly. Uh, we have Nick Hodson, Damon, James, Tom, Aiden, and Alan. Alan the kid kid. Al yep, that's Alan. He is very small, like a kid. Big offense line. We've seen a couple of different offense lines uh, so far. Nick Lowe looks like he's going to... Uh, no, it's floating. And out from Tom Boyle. Calls a brick. We've got some uh, misidentity of commentators here. I've been identified as Raya when I'm actually Shannon which is a standard thing for this weekend. Look, and twins always. on a team, that's tough. Oh. Damon Prenti are streaming underneath. He's looking really uh, powerful on that cut there. Nick nice Hodson, cut disc. Nick Hodson. Looking around, Aiden Barrett misreads <laughs> that, but he's onto it now. Is that a foot in? New Zealand is calling it out. And that is a turnover. That's oh, unfortunate. unfortunate. Heads up play there from... Uh, Australians looking to play fast, aggressive, aggressive frisbee. The lovely correction from Aiden Barron on that, and it should find where the disc mm. was. Without uh, taking a misstep, very, very smooth from him. Big mark from Aiden Barron, pushing them into their end zone. Oh, very close. Friendly guys having a bit of having a look at that one. Big mark from Aiden Barrett again. This century to New, New Zealand. Broken. Campbell Newman looking downfield. Two players in the centre. Jack Doyle passes it off to Campbell Newman. Lenica in that centre of the, um, the horizontal three handling. Campbell Newman. This cup been very effective. It's an aggressive hammer across the road space to the free player. Alan Kidd unable to coach that off. Rolf to Lineker. The call on this. We're looking to the game advisors for the repeat of the signal. It's unclear at the this stage. There's a What's discussion called? between Nick Hodson and uh, Campbell. Game advisor just uh, joining the chat. Did the under 20 championships last year have game advisors? Um, for some of the games, for the live stream games, definitely. Yep. And they always had timekeepers and scorekeepers, which would record uh, the scores and assist, as well as the general score and keep time. Sure. Um, but we didn't have any game advisors for our games. Sure. Again, stoppage. Can't recommend highly enough. Get you clear. Hand signals, boys. I reckon the girls definitely trumping the boys with the hand signals. Yes, as uh, we've, we've tried to push the use of hand signals because they're very effective and they help quite a lot. Yeah, we want the best for you at, there at home. Pressure on the mark from Barron. Finds the space in the middle. Newman. Oh. Unfortunate miss from Jack. Bit too much heat there. Oh. Nick Lowey, the powerhouse. The throw has the forehand, finds Barron. He's looking very, very active at this point, getting involved in the play defensively and offensively. Oh. This Big time, hand though. Block. 
The mark is Daniel. Huge that was Daniel lovely. We have I'm not sure if it's Newman or Nowman moving that disc off. Campbell. Finds Burns. Huge oh. fake. Unfortunately, just a bit of a miscommunication and did not connect to that throw from Newman, Norman. New Zealand's having no problem swinging the disc for most of this game. They're moving across the field really freely and uh, it's been just a couple of those piercing throws. Uh, haven't quite made the target. The side stack and it looks like the Australian Huge stack didn't up. even know the disc was in then. And luckily that uh, disc has come and landed back in. It's a big throw from Tom Boyle. Yeah, he's not one to mess around. If there's an option, he wants it. Again, the zone is going to have another go at uh, keeping it in this corner. It was really effective yesterday. They'll, I'm sure they'll, they'll uh, be comfortable. They'll be confident they could. Um, but in saying that, New Zealand's had a chance to go away and have a chat, work on a few things. It's probably been the longest point of the game so far. Just after half, so hopefully they're all feeling a bit fresh. Norman. Nelman, Norman, Newman, one of the three. I apologize for mis mispronouncing names. Nelman with Campbell. the disc. Campbell, let's go with Campbell. Link later, back to Campbell. Squeezes it into the gap. Very lovely from Rory. Cox with Bagaki. disc in hand. Tracked call. Coxal Bagaki, low forehand, swings it across. Back to Campbell. Oh, lovely, just what toes a take. it in. It's been called in from the sideline. Walker affirming, yep, you were in. It's okay. Play on. The kid, hang on the disc. That's what they're after. Now they're really wanting to put this one away. They've had a play down the line earlier. Uh, the disc sailing away from Nicolelli from Boyle. He's got, going to pick it up now. A lot of patience stack. from Boyle walking up to the stack. Nice cut from Nick onto Dibbles from Nicolelli. Back to Boyle. Oh, back to Hodgson. Calm as you like. Nice patience on that throw. Fantastic red zone play there. There was. Plenty of space in the stack. Many options from the players on the field. Is shed any light on uh, the Dibbles nickname? Uh, I'm not aware of the Dibbles nickname. I think we'd have to have some clarification from one of the boys, possibly Gus. I have heard it's Gus's fault. Yes. I'll ask him later. I believe Steve was meant to shed some light on the Dibbles nickname, but never did. Thank you very much, Shannon, for joining us. Been fantastic getting an insight. Um, obviously, Shannon being a player with the Terra campaign this weekend. Welcoming back to the mic, we've got Gus. I'm back. Shannon's kept my seat warm. Absolutely. She's doing a fantastic job too. We're, uh, we're here. It's 8-9. Yeah, a bit of excitement here. The sideline's really picking up. Boys coming down in a zone. Whitlock. Oh, sorry, that's Whitlock now. Yeah, good. 
Hammer over the top to Rolf. Just too much. The Aussies are going to like that. Yeah, they'll be very happy with that. This um, zone has just clicked into place. They've tidied it up a little bit. Those wings have to work really hard with this zone, leaving um, a lot of players you know, committed to that disc. They do a great job of it. Hannah picks it up. Bang, goes a little bit too far. Some sort of call. It's a big call. That's a pick. Matthew Hanna in a spot of bother here, but finds Blake Nichols who oh, on the fourth. Blake. No, can't reel it in. Bit of a fumble. Couldn't quite reel that one in. High above his head. It's going to be Whitlock to pick it up. And that's dangerous, isn't it? Whitlock behind the disc. Yeah. Dangerous for the Australians. <laughs> Rolf in a bit of space. <laughs> Paddy Graham is just caught napping. Whitlock zips it straight in, and that's a goal. That's 10 8. On the last point, very long point. Uh, Whitlock not on that point, having a good rest. Um, they missed maybe a little bit of execution into the end zone. There was a few chances uh, that went begging. And uh, you see his class, he steps back on there, disc in hand. Boom. Boom. Wish I had stats in front of me for his assist look. score. Well, how many goals have they scored? They scored 10 goals. Yep. I'd say 80%. And that's an easy uh, calculation to make. Uh, that would give him eight assists <laughs> based on my quick maths there. Maybe not, but he's pretty close. He's been, uh, he's been everywhere for the New Zealanders. Oh, back yourself in, Gus. Yeah, back sure. In. Okay, eight, he scores eight assists. On your Whitlock. Now, on the Australian line here, we have Boyle, Lovell, O'Hagan, uh, Prendergast. Is that Jonathan Keyes? Sure is. Uh, Eichner and Big Paddy Graham. Big Paddy G. Obviously, uh, with that huge layout earlier. Yeah. Uh, quite happy with that one. Sideline just starting to pick up again. Mark Evans, a booming voice as always. Well received there from O'Hagan and up to Boyle. Looking to work it at the back with Keys. It's Prendergast. Finds the level who looking to dish it off. He's looking downfield now. Stump's working hard for him. Finds Keys. To the open side. Prendergast across the front. He's stacked. Looking very Tommy confident. Boyle is just jinking too much in that space. Clogged it a bit. Inside didn't quite come off. Australian's going to have to work hard on D here. It is McEwen picking it up. Where's Whitlock? That's the question I'm asking. A little bit further downfield. The Graham Whitlock matchup. Part three. I'm excited. Part three, yes, absolutely. One classic contest per game, please. Oh, Keys hits Whitlock hard. Bit of a size mismatch, but it doesn't matter how tall you are when you're running into someone in a full sprint. Both guys keeping their feet very well there. Whitlock launches it to Driscoll. Boyle gets in it. But Driscoll comes down with the disc. That's a great grab. Boyle and Driscoll end up on the ground. Locked in arms. A lot of daps both ways. That's 11-8. That's another break. So that is another break. Getting a bit dicey here for Thunder. They're really going to have to turn it on now. Uh, interesting fact that Cron told me earlier today. Today is the... Oh, jeez. Hey, Cron. What year anniversary is it? The 59th birthday of the first patent ever filed of the uh, Ultimate Frisbee, called the Flying Toy. I don't first usually go to Cron for my facts, but I'm very <laughs> impressed this time. This is a man who There's walks around staff. in a watermelon hat. <clears throat> Knows his stuff. Knows his history. Walter Frederick Morrison, a, na a name we all know, a household name. Of course, the first ever patent owner of Ultimate Frizzy. 59 years to this day. Thanks, Walt. Mm. There you go. It's a big huddle for the Australians. They've got their entire squad there. 
I wonder what's being said. What would you say if you were in there, Stefan? Oh, this is, this is the time. Uh, you've been training for four days uh, and grinding it out, working with each other, backing each other up for this, this time. And uh, you've got the skills, boys. They've got all the ability there. Um, just need to close it out. The defensive pressure's been there. We've got plenty of turns this game for the Australians. Um, and they keep it up. When their intensity is there, they, uh, they're a whole different beast. We saw yesterday in the second half of the game once the sideline really fired up. Yeah, the Australians really turned it on. It wasn't so much seven on the field, but a squad of 19 or whatever. That's right, and they're going to need that again, I think, today, down by three points. That's one of the biggest buffers, biggest margins of, of victory that the New Zealanders have held in this game. The Australians are going to have to do a lot to, uh, to catch up. Final instructions from Coach O. And we're hearing some sound from the New Zealanders now. They're a, uh, they have been a quiet squad, but they are pumped. They are ready. Oh, the Aussies retaliate. Yeah, sideline having none of that. Bit of, uh, bit of sideline tennis going on. Bit of back and forth. Ebbing and flowing here. As the noise just generally increases. You can hear the voice of Alex Lado Latamantos. We have a line stacked with uh, Thunder Returners here. We've got O'Hagan, Hannah, Lurley. And a lot more talented players as well on the line there. So the Australian's going to be wanting to put this one in. A sharp lady pull there from Whitlock. Received by Brendergrass. That's a great catch. One hand, one bounce even. Hodgson does a good cut into the open side. He's in a lot of space. Yeah, the defender just leaving him alone. Pretty goes with the disc in hand. Looks down the line. He's aggressive. The disc Driscoll. is tipped. Oh. Matthew oh, Hanna. Matthew Hanna. Cool karma collected. Oh, as stylish as it comes. And spikes it as well. <laughs> it's rough on Driscoll, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. He, he works so hard to, to look, make that ground. Having to look the receiver in the eye as he caught the disc oh. on his chest. Matt Hanna did well, though. Do well to stick with that disc. The Prendergast with the throw. Oh, so unlucky, Driscoll. It's a great bid. Yep, Prendergast racking up an assist. And suddenly it's 9 11. 11 9. I won't mind that at all. That score. A quick little uh, O point. Knock it off. Yeah. Uh, come back with D. Uh, that allows Coach to have some flexibility with his alliance. He's not too worried if he does want to change things up. They're not tired after coming off a timeout and a short point. Uh, 70 minutes played. 10 minutes to go to time cap. It's 11-9. Only two points in it. I'll tell you what, this sideline's getting loud. I wouldn't put it past the sideline earning a quick D here if there's a good pull and a good rundown. Tommy Boyle on the disc. We know he can give it a rip. Very slight breeze. Do a quick grass test. Okay, going left to right. Boyle absolutely rips it. It might be too far. If that's in, that's going to be a sensational pull. But it's just too much. Well and truly ripped. A huge throw. Of course, that going with a little bit of breeze sitting underneath it. We have a uh, split stack from New Zealanders. Yeah, Whitlock with the disc. It's dangerous, isn't it? Tommy Boyle poaching off the back. Some sort of poachy D here from the Australians. They're all in, in the spaces, not on their man. Whitlock goes straight over to Ford, gets it back, and hits Newman in flow. Nowman back to Ford. Whitlock wants it. Oh, Eichner has a sniff. Eichner working hard. Bit of contact maybe on the mark there. Whitlock wants every second, he wants it back. Eichner's gonna have to work here. It's Ford who tries to shrug off Lovell. Whitlock now with the disc. There's nothing coming from the New Zealanders. They have to punt it. Rolf is there, Butler's in pursuit. Oh, it's a great bid from Tommy Butler. He really left his feet there, but Rolf comes oh, down with it. Whitlock, doing it all again. Is there anything you can't do? 12-9. Valiant effort from Tommy B. Butler, that is. Whitlock, as you see here, just kind of out of options. Jacks it. Rolf does well.
to get into position. Here we see the bid from Butler. Oh, it's a great effort from Butler. And an even better catch from Rolf to say under that kind of pressure. The vision is what got me. I uh, saw that forehand go up and really couldn't see the target. Wondered if it was just a panic. Mm. Uh, stall count nine kind of throw. Yeah, excellent vision. Out of nowhere, Rolf just pops up. Had it all day. Uh, Whitlock must be getting tired. He's played close to every point. He's not on for this one. The Australians still working through their line. We've got Walker, Barron, Graham, O'Hagan, Prendergast, Kidd, and Graham again. Harry Graham there on the end. New Zealand is sending down a powerful line. They're going to be wanting to get a D here. 13-9 will be very difficult for the Australians to come back from. 12-9, maybe not so much. This goes up. Oh, it's a big brick. It's going to hit someone. That is well and truly back to the road over the cameras. Is a bit of a shot of so disc, on there? disc actually went out uh, just before half. So looks like the Australians are taking it from the sideline. You're going to have to clear the sideline. We have unprecedented access. Great vision of O'Hagan. O'Hagan, beautiful to the central cut from Harry Graham, looking to pass it off. Can't find anything downfield. Bail out to the other Graham. Go, yeah. Pat Graham wanting to finish this off, but finds O'Hagan. Dump. Looks across field. Goes again. Again. Too much on the throw. The inside flick. That's a difficult throw. O'Hagan's been having a little bit of trouble with that one throughout the tournament. That disc has ended up going quite a long way. It's going to be number 81, Daniel Linklater, to bring it in. Thunder going to want a D here. Kid on the mark. Graham's allowing his play to go deep. Oh, we are in Callahan country. Prendergast just gets beaten and goes back to Scott. Oh, it's a good grab from Coxwell Bugaki. Over to McEwen. Threads the needle to, to Scott. He's in flow and he jacks it. It's high up in the air. O'Hagan and number four Luke Rabe underneath it. O'Hagan has not read it well. But it doesn't matter in the end because it's drifted out of the sideline. Unlucky there. Good option though, I think, though, Stefan. I thought they were going to go that earlier. Um, mm. We had a couple of uh, mismatches going downfield. Uh, on the f earlier in the play, Pat Graham marking that territory before being pulled under. Uh, very effectively from the New Zealanders. Hagen with the disc. He wants something. He's just gone up. Kid with an excellent catch to save possession. And he jacks it now. Alan the Kid. Kid gives it to Patty Graham. Relax. Oh, Score there. Aiden Barron with the goal. And I think all the credit has to go to Alan Kidd for an outstanding catch. That take. He just uh, just has a reach in his hands. He just doesn't seem to drop it. He's a long jumper. And apparently, when we're watching this vision, he's a high jumper as well. Outstanding work. Might need to try him out in the triple jump later on just to see if there's anything he can't do. 12-10 it is now. That was not the hooter. That was just someone screaming. Not sure if you picked that up on the microphones. The Australians looking to get a quick break here. The sideline is really picking up. The energy around Callum Park is definitely lifting. Yeah, it's uh, Whitlock having a word to his team from New Zealand. is getting them ready. He's giving them the encouragement. Um, they are... It's a stark difference between the knee train for the Australians and... Uh, Quite sedate. Yeah. Kid just rubbing the back of his head there. I think maybe he copped a knock with that outstanding grab. Yeah, there was a lot of body body, so not too surprised if uh, he took a bit of a knock in there. Hopefully, that might be all we see from him today. Yep. Into the shade. Paddy Graham, as always, streaking deep. Does well to remain calm. It always worries me when someone milks those extra few meters to where <laughs> They've overcooked it. Yeah. Tommy Boyle gives it a rip. The sideline is loud. It's forward with the disc up to Whitlock. He sends it to Rolf. Everest oh, oh, just misses the tip. Arguably should have got that one, Everest. He looked like he had a full hand on it. Rolf comes away with the goal. 
Unfortunately, it's going to yeah. go to 13-10. That you get the feeling that was quite a big moment there for the Australians. Everyone out is with a really big opportunity there to, uh, to defend that. He's, he is disappointed, but fair enough. Uh, he made all the hard work to get to there and then uh, just, just, I don't know, through the hand. Yeah. Yeah, he looked like he had his player covered there. Unfortunately, maybe just a dip in the wind or a bit of a miscue with the, the arm swing. Brings the score to 10 13. Uh, of course, a game to 15. We have the time at 78 minutes. I'm not sure which one will beat the other time or uh, score cap. It's Nauman with the disc. No Lely, no Boyle on the field. No way. Oh, Hagen is there. He'll be the, the handler for this team. Key's going back to receive the pull. It's a big one. Right to the back of the end zone. Oh, it's a great leave from Jono Keyes. That could have been a fantastic pull. Fine margins again. The Australians isolating Tom Butler. Tom this Butler loves the isolation. He's ready to work hard. He wants it. Colony rookie this year is Butler. Oh, and he shredded his man and it's up. He Butler finds gets the it. Disc. Tom Butler dishes off to Nick Hodson, looking for the score to the end zone. Not on. Again, holsters. John O'Kay's a great cut in that dump position. Really great movement. And over to O'Hagan. O'Hagan wants something to the break side. Got a few options, but he holsters it. Maybe because of that last miscue in the, a few points ago. It's with Hodgson now. As the uh, point time cap hooter goes, it's Keys. Looks off his man, absolutely fakes him, airs it out. It's a tip. Oh, it's a tip from Driscoll. Butler in pursuit. Couldn't quite get it back in for the greatest, which I think was the only hope there after that uh, Driscoll tip. Yeah, you got to wonder if it was the time for that uh, big round. Mm. A lot of traffic. Unfortunately, just a little bit too floaty, I think. If it had zipped in, Butler could have run onto it. This is going to come in. The early deep cut, pack round covering. Oh, Sethi Lover with a great bid. He's got a bit of the play though. Fitzpatrick Cockrum with the disc now. Lovell on the mark. It's great marking from everyone. Lots of pressure. There must be some sort of stoppage because. May have been a, uh, a ghost stoppage. A ghost stoppage. People stop moving. <laughs> Maybe someone said Nick really loudly. That <laughs> happens sometimes. Let's get it, girls. The Cron calling the, the Terror Girls into action. Oh, Hagen on the mark. Putting a lot of pressure in. Butler guards Driscoll well. High always backhand over the top. Graydon Scott now with the disc. Finds Driscoll in the middle. Driscoll looking to dump it straight away. Forced to look downfield now. Keys with some great D. Ultimately a collision. But they're playing on. It's now with the disc now. Rolf meters underneath. Oh, yeah, miscue. A miscue. And it's Graham with the D. Rolf can't hit McEwen. The entire Australian sideline is standing up, that patient including us. New Zealanders just doesn't. Bit unhappy about it, to be honest. Hold up under the pressure there. Nah, just kidding. You're up, boys. <laughs> O'Hagan with the disc. You know what? I'm going to stand in my chair. O'Hagan with the disc now. Butler in isolation again. Makes an early cut. Driscoll with a great layout. Huge defence. on fire. Butler and Driscoll take it to one apiece. An even contest between the two of them. Fantastic contest. We've got, we've got the disc. Nauman with the disc. Fitzpatrick Cockham underneath. Lovell has it covered. Lots of pressure there in the handless space. We are drifting. Stanley Deck. Oh, Callahan Country. Fitzpatrick Cockham with a great grab. Lovell with the layout. 
Oh, Butler with the layout. Someone else is going to lay out, surely. Hodgson's been burnt deep by Rabe. Rolf swings it around to McEwen. Keys in pursuit of Graydon Scott. Made that throw very difficult. It's gone out wide. It's too much. The Australians down the turn. Oh, that pressure when you know someone is going to lay out. They are going to go. That's right. That throw has to be on. A little bit of hesitation. Yeah, gets yep. in the mind. Yep. Great to see, Miriam. <laughs> Anto Hagen walking to pick up the disc. Gee, do you, do you put it up there to Paddy Graham? If it's a whole high score count, yes. Yes, you do. I think I'm doing it on zero if I'm Anto Hagen. <laughs> Just going, oh, he, he wants Paddy's it. Paddy's going under. No, he's going deep. Oh, Hagen's zipping it across the field. That's, he's done well to keep that low. Harry Graham. Oh, it's, oh, it's through the gap throw. to Hodgson. Right the needle, Hodgson. Hodgson in flow. That's a goal. Graham. The Australians flood the field. 13-11. Gee, they had to work hard for that one. New Zealand showing them what they've got, and oh, I think it's just uh, just a little bit of extra grunt. So that's the only thing that got them across the line. Now, just to paint the picture of the, the sideline nearest the camera, every single person is standing up, including the commentators who are standing on chairs. It's a real momentum shift. You can you can feel it here at Callum Park. Oh, Gus, I'm pumped. It is 13 11. Yeah, absolutely. There'll be a D line. He'll be calling on his uh, his most feisty, ready players. Yeah. Huda has gone. So it's a game to 14. That, of course, means Australia's got a couple of uh, defensive points in a row if they want to take away this win. Gonna have to get three on the trot. Yep. It's a big ask. I think we want to see at least two on the trot, don't we? We, we, we want this in. to go to universe. Tommy Boyle with the disc. Julio, Lely, Eichner, Prendergast, Everest, and James Walker on the line for the Australians. It's a Don't great throw from Hodgson as well. Tom Boyle as well. Don't forget Tom Boyle. You can't forget Tom Boyle. He winds it up. Huge yell. A roar from the crowd. Whitlock underneath it. And the chase down already. The Australian players all around the disc. Whitlock with the disc. Essential travel call. I think that's fair. Looked like he took a step before he threw it. Whitlock with the disc now. Straight back into play. Whitlock hits that option again. I believe that is Burns out there on the sideline. Ford on his left with the disc now. Back to Whitlock. Just getting cramped on that sideline. Ford swings it over to Burns. Whitlock wants that disc back. He wants it back now. Driscoll making a good undercut. Looked off. A lot of pressure here from the Australians. James Walker has a bid, but Whitlock uses his body well. Fitzpatrick Trans Cottrum streaks deep. A scuba over the top, but it's a great pass to Burns, to Ford now. Bit of a bump from Everest on the mark. Back to Burns. It's high energy. Hearts are racing. The sideline is screaming. It's Whitlock now with the disc. A lot of pressure. Just to this deep. Oh, it's an outstanding catch from Driscoll. And oh. that's the series. That's the game and the series, I believe. It's a fitting end. It's a fitting uh, end, I think. Whitlock Driscoll with the catch. Whitlock with the throw. Yep. Two, Two fantastic players for New Zealand. And the pressure from the Australians was immense. It's incredible. Outstanding. Uh, Defensive Same. pressure there, and the boys are disappointed. Absolute ben credit to the boys, though. Yep. 14 11, the final score. They felt a lot closer than that, especially in the final stages. Absolutely. Australia just maybe uh, getting punished for letting the first, letting a couple of breaks go earlier. Yeah. Left it a little bit too late. Well done to them. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. Uh, hope you've enjoyed the whole series. It's been fantastic having the stream here. Thank you. Uh, Thanks, everyone, for all your support. Um, all right. Thank you, Gus. Yep, thank you, Stefan. And uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks.